Hello, welcome back to Buckle Up. My name's Rob Wilson, and as I'm sure you already know, this is my Toyota GR Yaris. And I've owned it for a while now, so I think it's about time I talked about five things I love and five things I hate about it. Roll titles. Okay then, so let's start with the first thing I love about my GR Yaris, and that is quite simply the speed. This car is quick, really quick. Not to 60 takes just over five seconds, and the four wheel drive system makes sure that it can put all that power down onto the road, 270 odd brake horsepower down onto the road. I do truly believe that on a typical twisty British B road that has cambers and crests and potholes that this would actually be faster than most supercars out there because they can't put down the power, they're too wide and they're too low. This is one hell of a machine for barnstorming up British B roads, I love that. Okay then, so let's start with the uh, dislikes on the GI Yaris. It's um, what is not here, the rear wiper. It just means that if there is rain or dust or anything that gets on this rear screen at all, you cannot see out of the back. Okay, but you might be sitting at home and saying, aha, but it has a rear view camera, but we'll come to that later. Okay, so the second thing that I love about my GI Yaris is that it is genuinely dailyable. You can do pretty much anything you want with the car. I use it to commute to work, I can fill it full of friends if I need to, and if you put the back seats down, we've used it for lugging the camera equipment around when we film these videos, so it really can do most things really well. And it'll do about 35 miles to the gallon at a cruise, so what's not to like? Okay, so I said I would come back to the reversing camera, and I have, because it is low res, and it gets dirty very easily. So when you look at the uh, reversing camera on the screen, it looks like something from a PlayStation 1 rather than from a PlayStation 5. So can't really tell what's behind me, it's just lots of pixels. The other problem it has is that it gets very dirty and there is no system here at the back for cleaning it. If you want to clean it, you have to come out and do it with your finger or with a cloth. And as you can see at the minute, because I use my car on a daily basis, it's covered in crap. So when I put it into reverse, the camera's got crap on it as well. And then I can't see even if it were clean, it's low res. Plus, you can't see out the back window because there's no wiper. These are, these are problems that have annoyed me during my ownership. Anyway, let's move on. Okay, so the third thing I love about the GI Yaris is the price. I know, I know 33 and a half thousand pounds is a lot of money, and I'm not going to pretend that it isn't, but it's no more expensive than its closest rivals like the Honda Civic Type R, and arguably this is much more special than one of those. And without wishing to sound like a salesman, there are great finance deals to be had with 0% APR, which means that £250 a month is actually feasible. And at that price, it's a bit of a bargain really, if you ask me. Okay then, so the next thing that I'm not so keen on is this carbon wrap. Now, I know, and you probably know if you're watching this video, that underneath this carbon wrap, there is actual carbon fibre, and it looks excellent. I shall insert a picture of what it looks like. It's proper forged carbon. It looks like something of a Lamborghini or something like that. And then they go and put this sort of wrap on top. And I know why they've done it. It's to protect the actual carbon fibre, but it just feels cheap. I don't like it. And the fourth thing that I love about my GI Yaris is the fact that it's a rally homologation special. How often does one of those come along? Never. It's a rare kind of vehicle, and I like that. 
I like the fact that no one knows what a rally homologation special is and I like the fact that it's got a rally homologation engine in it the most powerful three-cylinder engine ever made and I like the fact that it's made in the old LFA factory these are things that make this car different and special and I love that okay then so moving on to my next issue with the GI Eris and that's uh, one that a lot of people have pointed out um, but it annoys me as well so I'm going to talk about it and that is how big the rear view mirror is and how far down the windscreen it comes because what it means is that where the uh, infotainment screen juts upwards there is only a very small gap in between the huge, huge rear view mirror and the infotainment screen, which means there's an enormous blind spot when you're driving along. And it is quite annoying sometimes to have to physically look around your own rear view mirror. And it's not like it's that for a purpose because it's far too big, the, like the amount of glass for what you can actually see out of the rear screen. So to demonstrate this effectively, uh, I'm going to use my phone. I'm going to put it sort of on my face as much as I can so you can see what I can see when I'm sat here. So there's driving along, la 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 la, look in the rear view mirror, look how big that is for the relatively small amount of glass that you've got out the back. And then if I like put it over here, you can just see you can see how much space that rear view mirror is taking up and how big of a blind spot it's creating. If something is behind that mirror, I would not know it was there. I would have no idea. You could, you could put Belgium behind that rear view mirror. I would have no clue it was there at all. So that is quite irritating. Next. So lastly, the final thing that I love about my GI Eris are the looks. And I know that this isn't a beautiful car by any stretch of the imagination, but it's so much more restrained than it could have been. <clears throat> Honda Civic Type R. Yes, I know it's got a massive grille at the front with a huge intercooler behind it. And I know it's got big silly flared arches, but there's no stupid giant spoiler thing at the back a huge wing it's just this sort of graceful little spoiler just integrated nicely into the design of the car nothing stupid it's restrained and it looks good i like it okay so let's talk about the inside for a second shall we and this front passenger seat which obviously i don't spend a lot of time in but my friends have and some of them are quite tall and they've pointed out that if you actually sit in this seat, my head is fully wedged against the ceiling. I have to like uh, slouch, bash my knees into the hard plastic on the dashboard. And then that means that the person in the back doesn't have any leg room because you've had to push your seat further back so that your knees can fit in. So you'd think, aha, but you can adjust the front passenger seat. No, you can't. There's no lever here for adjusting the height. It's fixed in position. So if you're over six foot tall, you just either have to hit your head and sit with it up against the roof or bash your knees off the dashboard. Why? Okay, so there you go. There's the five things that I love and five things that I hate about my Toyota GI Yaris. Now, you may own a Yaris or uh, you may be looking to buy one. So let me know what you thought about the video in the comments down below. And while you're there, if you've enjoyed, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. And uh, if you're not already, then please subscribe. Hit the red subscribe button and uh, set the notifications to be on so you'll be notified when a, a new video goes live. Uh, also down there in the description, we've got links to all of our social medias. So, you know, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Drive Tribe, TikTok, Reddit, all of that sort of stuff. And we've also got some merchandise. Look, I'm wearing some. Can you see? Buckle up. Isn't that great? So why not go and uh, 
buy some of that and uh, we get a little bit of money in return. Or if you don't like merchandise, then why not give us some money on Patreon? We've got that linked below as well. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.